And wagon stands for We ain't, we ain't got, got no name. name. We ain't got no name. We ain't got no name. We ain't got no name. No name. What's up, everyone? This is Wagon here for episode eight. Ocho. <laughs> I don't think this is going to get old. We're going to count to 100 and still be laughing. Be like Cien. <laughs> Cien. <laughs> so today's podcast is about self-love, part two, but we're taking a different angle. Today, we're going to discuss body image. And the one thing the ladies and I um, discussed um, was... What does body image mean in today's society? I know at one time we looked at an article about uh, Sarah Bartman, who two centuries ago died after years spending so much time in European freak shows. She was brought to Europe under false pretenses by a British doctor who stage named her the Hot and Tot Venus, just to be seen for her large buttocks. However, today... She is still seen by many as the epitome of colonial exploitism. I know growing up decades ago, not too many, but decades ago, I remember seeing um, the beginning of, at least when I noticed um, people having plastic surgery. And it started out with the facelifts, started out with breast implants and it wasn't pretty much in our community at that time we just seen those in different shows and um different commercials pamela anderson on baywatch Child, yes we have a few others dolly porton uh-huh name another one mm-hmm. who else another little oh china kim. the wrestler china the wrestler yes i remember her mm-hmm. and then you, little kim Little Kim, oh, yeah, that yeah, when it started yeah, really yeah. coming into yeah. our community. But we also remember big stars like Elizabeth Taylor and Joan Rivers, who mm-hmm. we seen really transform into um, another person. They just wasn't aging. Right. Well, I mean, well, so they thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were aging. But we was able to see the significant changes in their appearances. So being said that, we look back in the last decade where plastic surgery became more of a phenomenon in our communities, whether it was in hip hop videos, R and B videos, or you couldn't get a deal unless you had plastic surgery to become more appealing to the masses, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. And now it's just a matter of you see it everywhere, but people are starting to get sick from it because they are willing to do whatever it takes to portray a certain image people are dying people are definitely literally dying, dying. getting yeah. sick from this mm-hmm. you know and it, it's something to be said about when you would do whatever it takes to make yourself feel better and in this in wagon podcast our whole um the whole reason why we do this is to, for to enlighten people to find happiness within and not in things or um and not in things or things you can do to yourself mm-hmm. to make yourself feel happy. Happiness from within provides true happiness. So within this podcast, we're going to just discuss a couple of things. We hope that you can get something out of it regarding self-love and self-esteem as it relates to body image. So today, you know, um, we see on many episodes of different TV shows how people are now becoming sick Mm -hmm. from um, injections or um, people, doctors who are not doctors but are portraying as doctors or people going to different countries to pay less money. What do you guys think about um, this new phenomenon and the sickness that it's bringing about? Mental as well as physical sicknesses. I definitely think there's something mental going on. That's just me personally. Because if you loved yourself, like you claim you do, Mm -hmm. you wouldn't be going and get injections from some hole-in-the-wall place. You know what I mean? Like you would seek out professionals and pay the money Mm -hmm. to get it done professionally instead of going and paying some hole-in-the-wall person to get cement from Home Depot injected in your behind, and then you end up sick and dying mm-hmm. for a nice backside. 
Like right. I don't understand. And they never that nice. It really is. They it looks never weird. that nice. I know. And one disproportionate as yeah. well. Like if you're gonna do surgery on your behind, mm-hmm. do it on your thighs. Do it on your thighs too, because we don't need. Can you run? <laughs> like I need you to be able to be proportionate. Right. You can't have a big behind and 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 toothpick legs, mm-hmm. like, or just big boobs looking like you about to topple over Wendy. Right. because the rest of your body can't keep up with the boobs yeah. you don't put on. Like, Win- I'm Wendy, not understanding. Like Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Bartholomew L. Dover Williams. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm done. I am That's sick. T.S. Medicine got a whole <laughs> list. It's just crazy. And I honestly think that people need to just take a step back. Can you? Yeah. Can we just love ourselves? Well, you know, self-love is also, it's not a quick fix. Mm -hmm. Just like going to get plastic surgery is not a quick fix for um, body image or for your career to take off, Mm -mm. you know? So just as it takes time to build your self-esteem and time to take love, you know, to love yourself, it also takes time to stack your money. If if Mm -hmm. this is the route you're going to go in for whatever reason that you're choosing, then make sure you stack your money so you can go to the right physician, the right specialist to get the care, the understanding, and the information that you need so you can be healthy. Because that's what we're promoting, healthy living. At the end of the day, like, come on. What's wrong with y'all? Yeah. And I get it. I'm all, I mean, if that's what you do, that's your mm-hmm. thing. Like, I'm, I'm not an anti- plastic surgery at all like hey I, I know that once I'm ready to have kids I'm like roll me over to the plastic surgeon give me a mommy makeover yeah. right away yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> nip yeah. tuck all that I want to wake up snatched I hear you right I hear you but again doing things properly right. and doing things that make sense like if you 5 to 105 pounds why do you have a size 15 booty I don't know isn't it hard to stand up you yeah. can't run. And because there was a point where the goal of plastic surgery was to look as natural as possible. As possible. And somehow we've gotten away from that and it's gotten very ridiculous. Well, we, we have, well, people in our community and people outside of our community that is looking like the same woman who they paraded in Europe and laughed at. Mm-hmm. You know, my issue is if you're going to do something, know your history. Before mm-hmm. you do it, and maybe that will shed some light as to making sure whatever you're doing is meaningful and you're right. doing it for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, I look at this story and I'm like, man, can you imagine being paraded in the streets? You know, she probably walking barefoot on cobblestone, mm-hmm. cement, you know, and just walking, people gawking, looking, pointing. She probably thought she was going to get some other type of job or something like that mm-hmm. or get married because he did name her the hot and tot Venus. And that's, you know, sexy woman. Mm. Sexy but it's, life, it's funny you know? how today right. that's the body type. It is. What she had, what she had back then, that's the actual body type for plastic wow. surgery today. Because mm-hmm. if you look at it, that everybody is, is shaped like her. Everyone mm-hmm. is shaped like her. Did you know that she like her her bones, her skeletal bones were just laid to rest in two thousand two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for two centuries, she was on her display. body parts were on display. Mm-hmm. This is how some people think of the female anatomy, the mm-hmm. black female anatomy, and now it's still being paraded, yes, and appropriated, mm-hmm. all of that, and y'all falling into the trap, people. I mean. People Pretty may much. not necessarily be laughing at it to right. that degree. Some people are laughing at it, but you know it's still right. being paraded. But look and at again, it. I'm not mm-hmm. against. It. I'm like, listen, do you if you don't, you know, a little mm-hmm. bit more breasts, you fit out those clothes. You like know, a little, I get do it. Do you? But I get it. Understand what come. Do things the right way. Right. Do things the right way. If you don't have. I've heard of people breast implants three, four, five thousand dollars, butt injections. That if you don't have that money, you gotta take that out. And that's not something you put on layaway. No, but, but you can you exercise can. yourself to that stuff too. Mm. That is because all it you is, could, uh, your behind is a muscle. I'm about to say I don't know if you can really exercise your breasts. It's yes, a, it's, you can. It's muscle. And it's me, Margaret. 
I must, I must, I, I must, must increase my bust. Yeah, Nobody read that book, and I'm yeah, like, I just read it. But what makes it, what, what makes it <laughs> full, muscle. the fullness it's of right. the muscle, the muscle lifts it. But what makes the fullness a is push the up bra? Well, <laughs> somebody yeah. feeling them a push up, yeah, or filling them up. But a push up bra would y'all do the trick. I know they, they, want it without, they want it without the push up bra. They want to be like that naked, right? Yeah. So I had that thought too after I had my children, and when you breastfeed, those who breastfeed, they know what happens to the breasts okay and even when you bear children you have stretch marks and things change and I remember having this conversation with my mom like dang man I should probably you know do something because this isn't going anywhere you know and she was like you know what those are that's your war wounds girl Mm -hmm. those are your motherhood wounds to show that you've been through it you conquered it you made it and now you are someone's mom and when I thought about that, I was like, okay. So I'll try a different route. I'll try eat salads and drink a lot of water and uh, that's exercise. it. And exercise. Yeah, I don't I don't want the wounds. The, ki- the children is evidence that once I have them, the children yeah. are <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm cool. That is true. <laughs> like, the family I'm, we come from, <laughs> the palmas don't work, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm cool. Although, my mother doesn't have stretch marks. She doesn't? Mm-mm. So I guess I got that from my mama's side. Yeah, my mama side. <laughs> you know? And actually, Nita is my grandmother. I said I got it from my oh. mama's side. <laughs> Let it be. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but either which way, this was something I was able to accept. Right. And some people may not, you know, think along the same lines as I do, and that's okay. Your body is yours. Your it body is, is, is your body. Sometimes I think people just watch too much TV, and they want to look like what they see on TV and forget that TV right. is smoking mirrors. Right, but it is it is also perpetuated when you go out to a club. You know, the dude don't want to talk to the slim female. Remember mm-hmm. Slim Girls was in, in, uh, was mm-hmm. in demand? I'm not in demand you gotta anymore. Have, you gotta be slim with a big slim booty. Slim with a big booty. That's my man was like, you slim, but that thing. <laughs> that Boom, thing. right? <laughs> exactly. You know, but now you go to certain places, you know, they they want exactly what they see on TV. Mm-hmm. At least some men do. Mm-hmm. Or some women do. But then they say they want somebody real. Mm. And they ain't getting, my, ain't getting nobody real. So I, I guess people need to expound on what real is. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because if you think real is somebody that's doctored up, then right. what does that say about you? So let me t- let me say this. If glass eyes became popular, do you think everybody would go out and get glass eyes? Some people do have them. I know that. But, but it's for like a purpose. purpose. Like they eyes? Yeah, but it's for a purpose. Yeah, you mean you just voluntarily mean? getting the eyeballs right. replaced? Right. But I mean, at, at one time, did we think Getting butt implants and all this stuff would be no. a phenomenon today, no, a standard. We didn't. No, but it's because of that boob tube that mm. has everybody believing that it's okay to have a huge behind what with a teeny <laughs> tiny waist. I mean, not for last eye. Mm-hmm. I will say this because there was a point where I was really, really, really skinny, mm-hmm. and then the booty and mm-hmm. stuff came, mm-hmm. and. A lot of clothes fit a lot better. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so, like, I get how someone can be like, this ain't, like, right. a bikini. I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I get, get it. it. Where it's kind of like, but again, do things that make sense. Do it the That's right it. way. Do it the right way. And if you can't do it, just be like, all right, I can't do I it. Can't do I it. can't do it. women that wear bikinis and don't care. Yeah, that's They awesome. really don't with the rolls and everything and everything else and all the... They don't care. Sell your life. There are some. They me, don't care. That's Vericles not veins. my ministry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are I always... I want to look right and tight. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely so. right. Yeah. But some people, some people don't care. They just yeah. happy in the skin they in. Lizzo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lizzo. I just need her to just show up with clothes on. But it's it's not even because of her weight. That's just me. I just like people to have I clothes just, on. Yeah, That's it. I don't want to sit in your seat after your cheeks done sweated the out. Seat. The, yeah, I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, yeah. It's unsanitary. <laughs> and I don't want my cheeks to touch the seat. I don't want my cheeks to touch if that's the case, we wouldn't have seats. Everybody had toilet seats, right? Because mm-hmm. you wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah. You just sit your bare butt down anywhere. Yeah. But anyway, guys. Mm-hmm. So back to loving yourself and loving the skin that you're in. You know, the one thing we want everyone to know is 
to be safe, if you do decide to choose to go the route of plastic surgery, actually, I think a person should go to counseling first. Yeah. I, think I can so agree too. with that. Yeah. Not just a doctoral consultation because mm-hmm. the doctor's going to, I'm hoping that they will operate within their parameters based on your heart rate and all that other medical the stuff. Ethics. Ethics, yes. But at the same time, making sure that you're wanting these things for the right reasons. I think that should be done. Like if you're going to the mm-hmm. extreme side, right. like if you're like, if you're like, in a cup and you're trying to go to like that, like someone like Pamela Anderson, mm-hmm. she should have gotten evaluated. Yeah. And she, you know what? For all we know, she, maybe she did. Maybe she did. But it's like, if you're yeah. going to go to that extreme, but if right. it's just like, you know, I'm just getting a full C. Right. Something that matches or whatever. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, do, do you. But because at the end of the day, that's not going to cure your happiness. I mean, they no. can like, it, no, it, it's not like, it's not, it's a, it's mm-hmm. a temporary fix. Yeah. You're going to find something else wrong or, you know, one breast going to be bigger than the other because you can't get it perfectly <laughs> anyway. Because naturally, one breast is bigger than the other. Exactly. Like, your body is exactly. imperfect. Yeah. So, if you're going extreme, though, like, yeah. like, if you find that, like, someone like Michael Jackson, like, mm-hmm. once you got, like, all right, this nose. Let's wait. I was let, wait going a second. with the nose. I, I, like, let's talk about the Like, nose. wait a second. Like, once we got to, like, the bad era Mm -hmm. someone should have stepped in and been like all right so we here let's 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 talk about this so that therefore and this is a true story yeah once we get later on in life and a piece of his nose fly across that room like that won't happen (laughs) that happened and i love i love me some michael Michael. yeah you lie yeah (laughs) i remember hearing that yeah yeah Cause like he wore it down so much that they right. were like a they chiseled it down a prosthetic piece yeah something yeah it was yeah he like wore his nose away see that's too much and sometimes you know sometimes a doctor just has to say no I was just a about to say, to say I blame the doctor just for no you know of I course I think I would have been scared to meet Michael Jackson in person I than on I TV would've. I don't know if I wanted to see that up close and personal. And it might it might have been scary. I need to see natural looking people. But that is, but you know I'm already afraid of clowns, so I can't my, even deal. My whole thing mm-hmm. you look as a doctor. If mm-hmm. you was this doctor that's been doing all this surgery on this man for all this years, yeah. where did your ethics come into play? The money, cash. right? <laughs> the chat, right, money. But, and at the end. Of, Ethics go out the window when people walk in the door with large sums of money and money throw in a classes. stack at them. Like, right, they got spending money in college on ethics classes when it ain't even going to be. Yeah, but it's like, all right, you paying. Your right, right, ethics be cleaned yeah. out the door just because of a dollar? And was it the Hippocratic Oath? Yeah, but I think that from my understanding mm-hmm. of it, like the doctors told him like the dangers of it, but he was just like, take right. this million dollars. At the same mm-hmm. time, take what's wrong with dollars. saying no to a patient? You like, can. You no. do have the option to do that. But some doctors don't. Mm-hmm. Like Because of the money. Look at the chick that, um, the lady who was getting, having all the heat in her um, buttocks and in her legs. That was on an episode of Ayama. Yeah. I remember that. Mm-hmm. She was a beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. Very She was pretty. beautiful, I'm sure, probably without everything. Yep. You know? And it's just something just didn't, Makes sense for her to continue to go, and then the type of surgery, and this it was, is because she was using fix a flat too. Fix a yes. flat, fake yeah. Doctors. You know what you put yes. in the tires. What fake we use for the for for tires. tires. Yeah, yes. tires on the bike. Yeah, she was getting fix a flat injected in her. See, that's where I have the issue. And Hole in the wall doctors, or in hotel rooms. Doctors don't operate in hotel rooms. There was one lady on that K Michelle documentary. She was like, she ain't have no to- like. You went to go get your butt done, and you ain't got no toes. Wait, what? Like, yeah, it, like, caused some type of neuropathy where she lost, like, her toes. And then I'm like, all right, yeah, you got your butt done, but you ain't got no toes. You need toes. You Like, you need you need your butt, but you need toes. She should have concentrated on her toes instead some, of her butt. Yeah, yeah now, you, now you done lost your toes. Well, tomorrow. look at the priorities. Look at a person's priority. Now nobody can't see your butt because you're in a wheelchair. I can't. But we can see you ain't got no toes. Wow. When she wear sandals. <laughs> I mean that's I'm not like no, all right yeah it is for real for real all the <laughs> apologize I ain't sorry I said what I said no <laughs> I apologize on behalf of her <laughs> 
we kind of mean it though yeah like you gotta there's risk and if you willing to take them all right but mm-hmm. you gotta eat those risks so what are some of the safety features we can let the people know like what to look for as far as what? as far as when they walk into a quote unquote doctor's office, what are the telltale signs that this is a real doctor's office? Uh, First of all, Google has everything, so you don't even yes. have to go to the doctor's yeah. office to know if you go into a legit doctor. Now, check this out: you can Google somebody, and their profile, if they have a savvy tech person, can have a nice marketing scheme. But, I, but until no. you walk in, but but mm-hmm. I know at least in the state of New York, mm-hmm. we have the office of professions. You know that's right. So therefore, check, you can check. go on the state website right. and find out if you have a legit doctor license numbers, everything. I don't know how it works in other states, right. but in New York, right. you can check. Forget the website, all mm-hmm. of that. Go and check. So let's talk about a state who may not be as sophisticated as the Office of Professions. I think all the states probably. I think it's. I think it's. Probably well, just national, pick a state. <laughs> maybe Alaska. Okay, fine. Alaska. Yeah. They so let's Alaska say. People. Yeah. Let's yeah. say that. Yeah. Alaska. <laughs> We are in Alaska and someone wants plastic surgery and they walk into a doctor's office. What are some of the tell signs that this is a real office when you walk in? What, what do we look for? Um, I'm going to look for biohazard um, containers. Yes. Absolutely. How about degrees and licenses on the wall? Absolutely. Oh, well, yeah. Well, but then again, think about it. A hospital, you're only really going to see the... You're not going to see, like, the doctor's stuff like that. But you're not really... But, you know, people be acting like nurses. You know, that's how babies get stolen. They be walking in there acting like nurses. You can't steal a baby now. Well, it's no, a you wrap for yeah, you. Yeah, you can't do the that The maze now. you got to go to and the ID checks. I tried to go see a couple of friends and yeah, I was just like, where that are that the babies? The <laughs> yeah, that was back in the day. <laughs> Couldn't find anybody. But, yeah, back in the day, you're right. That, that did happen. But licenses and degrees. Um, A secretary? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to say, I don't know, because she could be part of it, or he could be yeah. part of it. Nurses, But it's no. like, you need to let me know that you can properly yeah. disto- but dispose what of if, biohazard material. What about referrals? Like, if you were referred to a person. Because usually we go on referrals. Oh, this doctor's great, because... I personally mm-hmm. don't go off of nobody's referral for mm-hmm. anything. My dentist, nothing. What I, You know how, a way to do it? Mm-hmm. Contact your insurance provider. Absolutely. <laughs> so I don't. Want, but what if you don't have insurance? If you don't have insurance, mm. then you don't need to be getting plastic You're surgery. Right. Thank you. You're because right. anything can happen that can like cause Google way Google. more than the process. Like if you, I don't know, you get septic mm-hmm. shock or something. I think that's what it's called. If you mm-hmm. get something based off the surgery, you only right. got three thousand dollars in the bank to cover your surgery, but you ain't got no money to cover them hospital bills. Mm-hmm. No, you, you need some insurance. Yeah. First of all, you get fined if you don't have insurance in the United States. Yeah. Of America. You need insurance. Did you guys hear that? Therefore, do not try and take matters into your own hands. Mm -mm. Do not go buying supplies in hardware stores Mm -mm. claiming that you are a doctor, physician, or any type of medical professional. Mm -hmm. And guys, if you decide to go on and get plastic surgery, make sure your mental status is in check make Mm -hmm. sure you're not getting these things to please a man or another person Mm -hmm. you know or just watching tv because the boob tube can do it to you yeah oh i should look like this because this is what they want smoking mirrors people Mm -hmm. the boob tube is smoking mirrors absolutely it's not real absolutely entertainment purposes only right Mm because even me as a clinician i'm forthcoming about it in my office Boom, my license is right mm-hmm. there. Everybody can see it as soon as you walk in the right. door. And right. you see that? I'm, right. I'm a licensed professional. Mm-hmm. It's supposed you to can be on sit display. down with me. Right. Right. It's supposed to be Nail on display. Nail salon, mm-hmm. hair salon, all everything. Of that. everything. is supposed to be Look on Look for the licenses. Look for it. Look and for also it. check for the expiration date, guys. Oh, yeah, that too. That's important. Learn to read the fine print. Mm-hmm. You know? When you're in a doctor's office or when they give you instructions, you know, there's so many ways to check to see if somebody is legit. Take the time to do so because your health can can be ask. You can go into the doctor's office and you can ask. Can I see your credentials? Can I see? Okay. So in other words, don't be afraid to ask questions. Mm -hmm. When you go into your life, if you don't. Right. When you go into um, any doctor's office for anything, even a cold Go in there with information for yourself. 
research you've done for yourself. I get that from my dad. He goes in the doctor's office and he tells the doctors <laughs> what he has. And he's able to give facts, this, that, the next, because he researches the condition. So when I go to the doctor or to the pediatrician for my children, I can have an open dialogue with the doctor because I'm aware of whatever the symptoms are. I can give him like a synopsis of what I think is going on. And I think doctors respect you for it. Yeah, but you got to be careful sometimes because I know one time mm-hmm. I had, I was having some symptoms in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. I go on Google and they said I was having a stroke. I was paranoid. I'm like, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm, ha- I'm having a stroke. The whole time it was gas. <laughs> I didn't say diagnose yourself. <laughs> I stay off of I'm Google. Like, I'm like, oh God, I got to go to urgent care. I got to go to the hospital. I'm having a stroke. Gas. <laughs> no, one, no one said diagnose yourself, but go in there with some knowledge of what's going on with you versus allowing the doctor to tell you everything. Because sometimes, you know, in, even in the black community, when it comes down to physicians, our body types are different mm-hmm. from the masses. And they already don't list. They don't believe we get hurt. We, we don't hurt. believe They it. don't believe us. That's they believe we're we strong. Die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are strong. We are that too. We are a strong people. At the same we, time. We weak. Right, we Listen need, to us. We need appropriate <laughs> right. medical care. And in order to get that, you know, not, I'm not saying that doctors don't pay attention. I don't ever want to say that. However, it's okay and it's it's worth your while to be equipped with information about yourself, about your own health when you go into the doctor's mm-hmm. office. You know, and it goes in with self-love. Love yourself to know that, when you go to the doctor that you can speak up for yourself. Mm-hmm. Some of some people some people are grown and don't even go to the doctor. Can yeah. we just put out there oh if you grown God. if you're grown and you're paying for medical mm-hmm. insurance to go to the doctor, right. go to the doctor and get checked out. Please get you know, Don't be like 52 out here and never been to the doctor and don't know that you got gout. Go okay? To, <laughs> Please go, go to the doctor. Go mm-hmm. to the dentist. Oh, that too. Did you know that oh, dental sure. If you dental don't take care kill you. of your dental hygiene, mm-hmm. it can kill you. That can take years off of your life. Did you yes. know that? It can kill you because it goes directly to your yes. bloodstream. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. My grandmother mm-hmm. drills that in mm-hmm. my head. Like drills mm-hmm. it. And her teeth are beautiful. She drills I hope y'all it. Y'all are in listening, my head. people. Yeah. Go to the doctor. Go to Go the doctor. Go to the dentist. If you're scared of the dentist, they could put you Get out and your, fix your teeth. Monitor your feet. That too. That's Monitor true. your feet. Your feet messed up. Your whole body messed up. You know this is this all self care pertains self-love, to take care yourself. self love and body image. It doesn't necessarily have to be the plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. It's how you take care of your Yourself. your body on the inside. Your and health. how you present it and how you present mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Let me tell you why I personally would would go to a reputable doctor. Why I'm not mm-hmm. taking a chance. There are reputable doctors that make mistakes because Mm -hmm. people are human, right? right? They have liability insurance. I am not going to someone that if they make a mistake, I can go like, hey, you messed up, and then they closed up shop and ran away, and I ain't got no trace (laughs) of where they at. I remember there's a Netflix show of um, an African-American doctor who was performing abortions, and... I sat and watched it, and it was painful to watch because he was located, well, he serviced low-income women, and he performed abortions, like, way past the time limit. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into the details. However, when you... Well, what's the time limit? Because now I think the time limit's like seven months now. That's just Well, murder. at that time, it that wasn't the law. Oh, okay. So it was like five, six months. It wasn't the law as it is now. Mm-hmm. But the point I'm, I want to make is that these women, this man had fetuses in jars on his steps, waste and biohazardous chemicals you see? in the facility. What, what did I say? They Biohazard had, containers. Yes, and it wasn't contained appropriately. You mm. know what I mean? Things like babies' body parts were not discarded. Like he kept them as trophies. He was like deemed a serial killer yeah. of, mm. you know, aborted children. But the women went. I guess they were desperate. They needed something. They didn't have insurance, but they went. And I can all, can you How imagine old were the these smell? Women? How old were the they women? They were like 20s. Okay. Because I know some people, they'll go that way, A, because if they don't have insurance. Mm-hmm. They don't have the $500 to get the abortion. Right, right. And I've never had one. I took someone to go take. That's how I know how much it costs. Mm-hmm. Ma, just in case you're listening. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> $500. Um, 
or they don't want their parents to know because if right. you're under 26, well, right. cause now you can stay on insurance right. until you're 26. If you're under 26, your parents are going to know, oh, mm-hmm. snap, who got an abortion? Mm-hmm. Right. So people will do that. But again, it's too risky. It's too Talk risky. to your family. Hey, I messed up. I need to go get an abortion. Yeah. Talk, talk to some responsible person. A responsible person. Who That'll has at least be like, interest. all right, I'll give yeah. you the five hundred dollars and I'll go with you. Just in case anything go wrong, I'll call your parents. Something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something, some type of responsibility. You know. However, it's just a matter of sometimes people do because they don't want other people to know. They'll take such precautions mm-hmm. to be unsafe, mm-hmm. and and that's that's where we're going. Is the safety aspect of everything is. To make sure that whatever you do, you know, as it relates to your body or self-love, take the time to think about it. Mm-hmm. Think about the consequences. Because mm-hmm. sometimes, um, what do they say? A temporary, sol- no, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, even with plastic surgery, you may feel this way now, but in 10 years, will you feel the same way? Well, I know with breast implants, you have to get them replaced. I don't got time for that. Do you know a recovery for that? Isn't a recovery? I heard it's painful. I heard it's very painful. I heard a breast reduction is worse. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to keep my babies. But I just feel like, especially when you haven't had, I don't understand plastic surgery if you Mm -hmm. want children and don't have any yet. Because your body goes through so many changes. So to do that. You don't know the effect that, mm-hmm. is, and not even just that. You don't know how your body is going, going to, to react. react to this stuff in general. Yes, you don't know how your body's going to react to these implants, these injections, fat transfers. Even though it's your fat, right? Still, you don't know how you will react to anesthesia. But fat on your shoulders belong on your shoulders. Yeah, well, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, well, I don't know why I pick shoulders, but yeah, I get. I don't know why I pick shoulders, yeah, but, but cause I'm like, fat what is it? The stomach? Do people have fat shoulders? Can you have look at your shoulder? shoulder? My shoulders ain't fat. Oh no. no I don't Some people got cheeky shoulders. You can have fat shoulders? I don't know. Can you have fat can shoulders? You have fat shoulders? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fat being that the the straps and your bra straps get caught up in there. Oh, that's yeah, kind you of fat shoulders. You can have, have fat shoulders. So you was trying to clown me. Because I'm not fat shoulders. Because I've never seen anyone with fat shoulders, but you can have. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like cheeky, maybe. Well, yeah. Don't inject your shoulder fat into your butt. Yeah, because it belongs on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to be innovative. Leave things alone. <laughs> yeah, you don't know how you're going to react. You yeah. don't know how you're going to react to anesthesia. So when people are doing these, they make you sign waivers saying, if you die, it ain't our responsibility. Wow. So you sign in a waiver of your life mm-hmm. for something that you're voluntarily doing. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not knocking it. No. Just l- make it make sense make it if make you're going to do it. Be able to walk. Do your research. Squats give you a nice behind. It may be tight, but it give you a nice behind. Mm-hmm. Do your research. Yeah. Like you, you have to. I think it's that's sad. the problem. People I mean, aren't thinking things through. But you have to do your research for just about anything, anything you do in life anything. now, especially medical procedures. Especially though. medical procedures. People just out there watching the boob tube and doing what they want. You I want to look like her. I want to look like her. I want to look like him. I want to look like that. I want to look like this. And they're not doing the research. Taking on their teeth out to put veneers in. I'm like, take like, care of your really? teeth. <laughs> take, and you can't take care of your teeth. What makes you think you take care of these other teeth in your mouth? That is so weird to me because sometimes veneers just don't look natural. It'd be too daggone big. big. Your yeah. mouth, but it's like, I think it's like dentures where your teeth, your mouth has to like I form to it. I am not wearing early dentures. Well, yeah. No. Just be out here with chiclet sized teeth. Some people want like, <laughs> some people just want the perfect smile. And I get it because, I mean, I don't have them in right now because I would have a list. But I'm right. paying $5,000 right now for Invisalign. Well, I have my But they my teeth. Right, but I had my braces too. Right. I just did the walk with the mm-hmm. with the ra- railroad too. tracks on my, right. in my mouth. Sure I'm like, they my, they my teeth. On. Right. Because, like, they here. Well, I'm going to get rid of my teeth to put someone else's in. What? Oh. Well, not someone else's, but. Chicklets. Like, what am I going to do that for? I'm just taking care of mine. There was a movie. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it was with Jim Carrey, and he had these big Teeth. The mask. <laughs> yes. When I see, what do you call them? The veneers? Mm-hmm. That's what I think of Jim Carrey in the mask. I'll be like, yo. i have like, ooh. Steve Harvey has them. Huh. Steve Harvey has the veneers. They still look weird. They do. 
Like it's too big. <laughs> like it's too big. <laughs> love yourself, people. Please your love teeth. yourself. <laughs> take, care, take care of your teeth. Right. Well, there's, there's some people who probably had a hard life. You know, Do research on these and doctors. Their teeth got messed up. I'm all for that. It could be accidents. It could be, it could anything, be anything, anything that will cause anything. you to go that route. But there's but a whole, reason for that. Yeah, just you know? do your research do and make sure you go to the right doctors mm-hmm. and make sure you're doing the right thing. Uh, <laughs> like my friend was telling me, Adasia. Oops. My friend was. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the third time, though. <laughs> Today? No, throughout oh. the episodes. Oh. Scratching. <laughs> my friend was telling me, like, oh. I want to get veneers. I'm going to c- go to Columbia and get veneers. Why do you have to go to Columbia? <laughs> Wait, it's these new veneers. They go over your teeth. I said, so you about to go to Columbia to get some snap-on teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how are you? Go-? I said, so your teeth is that? Because, like, the <laughs> other veneers, they got to shave down your teeth oh. and make it small. Like, it's a whole oh, process. No. And it was like, so no. So what happens? Can you take veneers off? No. You can take them off, but they're going to look like, um, pieces like little pieces of logs, like <laughs> like like little wood chips, like like porcelain wood chips, <laughs> like they it's crazy. They're gonna look like vampire teeth. Yeah, I'm, I'll Not show you a even, picture. But like these, zombie teeth. But these particular teeth that my friend was talking about mm-hmm. go over your natural teeth. I'm like, okay, so how do you take them off? Oh, you can take them on and off. I would have to go to the dentist to get them taken off. I said, so how long do you plan on keeping them? I don't know. Uh, maybe a permanent thing. I said. So how are you going to care for your, your perfectly fine teeth under there? You're not going to be able to brush them. I didn't consider that. Oh, how are you? You was about to go get some snap-on teeth and have rotting teeth under it? Under it. Well, you were going to have to actually, it would be a waste of money because now you got to go get the actual real yeah. veneers because your teeth all fell out. All so you ain't got nothing out. to snap on and hold on to. Looking crazy. People, do your research. You guys see when Halloween comes out, those little 99 cent vampire teeth yeah. that be all spread out. That's what you're going to have. <laughs> Please do your research. Yeah. Stop yeah, following man. the boob tube. Here we go with the boob tube. Instagram. Instagram. Just trying to get the next like. Get out of here. Yeah. Your and- health and your life is worth more. You're trying to get a like. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's that's where society is moving. People are doing things just to get likes. I think we talked about it on the episode where somebody went on a date. Yes. And yeah, they the saw the person. One, my friend. Yeah, they, they saw a person up close. They was like, nah. And but then Instagram. they saw them on Instagram. It was like, yeah. yeah. We're like, why? hold on. Like, why? You know? And that's what we need to t- for people to take into consideration is self-love means self-care. Mm-hmm. And being in the here and now. Yeah. Reality. Right. People, reality. Right. And here's the other thing. When yeah. it comes to, I'm not opposed to any type of enhance. Whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. fine. You want to enhance yourself. You want to wear a wig, weave, makeup, all this. It's okay. Type. But you need to be comfortable with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, my whole thing, I always said, I, I don't get into that, like, on a daily thing. Because right. Right. I don't ever want to be in a position where the person I'm with is, like, who are you? Mm-hmm. Looking like the chick from I'm going to get you sucker. <laughs> I'm like, because there's going to be a time they're going to see the real. You know when they're yeah. going to see? They're going to see the real you when you're pushing out a baby. Ooh. They're going to see the real you because yeah, all that makeup and stuff real don't matter. Mm. So he loves me. I was at my worst. See, How like, about that? Oh, Chinese look at this man, nice whatever hair. Whatever article I read where he... He was actually trying to divorce his wife or sue his wife because they had an ugly baby. Mm. And come to find out, she done had plastic surgery yes. and got everything done to her body and then presented herself as this beautiful female until they, they conceived. And, and they he looking mean. like, ain't no way in this world Mm-mm. I made something that looked like that. Genetics is something else. I asked because I know someone, I know a couple of people that mm. like got their butts done. And I was like, if y'all have daughters... How are you going to explain to your daughter when they hit puberty and their body mm-hmm. is not like yours? Right. And now they have this complex because they expect it to have this banging, well, relic. Cause, Our shaped glass yeah. body. How yeah. are you going to explain that? You can't. You can't. So now the kid got a complex because they walk around with no booty. Mm-hmm. Nasa tall. Mm-hmm. Nasa tall. <laughs> 
gotta you get know? it together. Y'all gotta people, get it together. People don't understand that the choices you make, they do affect, you know, your children or people that you're with down the line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. They they you're given like a false presentation of who you are, you know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, everybody has the right to change their appearance, change their look, just like how they change wigs and hair colors. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, that is your right. You know, the main thing is just that you make decisions based on you loving yourself. And mm-hmm. loving yourself isn't wanting to look like someone else. Mm-hmm. You know? Is, oh, that's very true. You like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in in tonight in today's podcast, we just want to make sure that everyone just understands that you're beautiful in your own right. Yep, you need to love it. Embrace you don't ha- it, find it, love it. You don't have to have a big butt to get a man or a female or whatever you like. You know, and if you feel like you ain't beautiful, blame your parents. Blame your mommy and your pappy. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Jeans, blame your great great grandma. <laughs> you know, so just make sure you're safe. You do your research. You know, if you decide to undergo plastic surgery or any kind, of, I mean, going to the dentist, you still need to um, mm-hmm. research. Re- getting braces, you still need mm-hmm. to do the research. You know, you know how much research I did. Anything mm-hmm. pertaining to your health, get the research done. Anything that can permanently change. Yeah, research. You know get some testimonials or something, <laughs> something. Mm-hmm. you know to ensure that the person who is providing these services for you are who you are also telltale signs do not have any type of plastic surgery outside of a hospital or a true outpatient. clinic mm-hmm. yeah, no, or outpatient, outpatient clinic, clinic. yes yeah. Stop Say that trying. one more time. An outpatient, like, surgical clinic. I Absolutely. Like ambulatory. Is right. Ambulatory. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I ask yeah. you to repeat that so people can hear the words. Yeah. You know. Outpatient, and, ambulatory, anything like that. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Before you venture out and start spending a whole lot of cash. My recommendation would be because usually, be we, at least in New York, downstate New York, mm-hmm. we have a lot of health systems like mm-hmm. Northwell, Mount right. Sinai, and stuff like that. Go to one that's linked to a... A, a, a medical um, yeah. system instead yeah. of just a freestanding right one. It has a hospital affiliate, or right? Like so that. that therefore anything go wrong, they can send you right, right to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, fast track you in. Mm-hmm. You know, because the most important thing, if you if you don't have think of self love as the lack of it, does make you sick. Mm-hmm. It can kill you. It can kill you because you're making decisions based on false pretenses Mm -hmm. and not on true and real beliefs Mm -hmm. and just because you thought of it doesn't make it true Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doesn't make it real especially if you think you know the tv or instagram or any other platform is the sign of truth Mm -hmm. you know you need to bring back encyclopedias they do (laughs) read something man talking about some they got google now Forget Google. I like going to my bookshelf, getting my things. I could, I could put something on Google. Mm-hmm. Anybody. Well, that's the thing. That's the issue with the internet. Anybody can put anything out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because per- perception is everything. Right. Perception is everything. Right. Right. Mm. And the perception isn't fact. Mm-mm. It's just how a person think mm-hmm. or perceive things. All right. And that can kill you. It sure can. So we're gonna end. Um, Self Love Part Two, Episode Eight. What you hug yourself, <laughs> love yourself, <laughs> be a blessing. Stay positive, people. Take care of yourself. All Live, right. Live, laugh, love. Peace.